Hi folks, welcome to another interesting episode of NYC CNC. We are moving the shop and unfortunately we're doing it uh, not on our terms and, uh, and on really short notice. Um, I'm trying to stay positive and I am gonna stay positive because that's what needs to happen. And, and what has happened in the past is um, irrelevant. Uh, I obviously feel defensive if you maybe can't sense that in my tone. Uh, for the simple sake of explaining some of the situation. Um, and from my standpoint, um, well, here's the thing. Very few people in the world or in life will argue for the sake of arguing or they'll create conflict for the sake of creating conflict. Everybody has their side. And usually, you know, it's, I w it's a cliche thing to say, well, look at it from the other person's point of view. But it, it really does mean something because you know, you may be right or wrong, but regardless, the, the other person has a point of view. Um, I, of course, am mad that maybe perhaps I was naive or perhaps it was a mistake. You can't look at it that way. Um, but bottom line is um, I am moving away from the farm. And that was, a, that was tough for me. That was a big part of why I wanted to come back to Ohio. And I felt a lot of pride being there. But you know what? If it doesn't make sense um, for the short term or perhaps even the long term, um, here's what I know. I love doing what I do and um, work is important and family is important and when those start interfering or creating problems, uh, it's not worth it. And um, so when it came to be, so the, as a matter of facts, again, I'm actually taking some a couple weeks off at the end of September, which I'm really excited about. And so I have, it was this cascade of, you know, this event happened. Um, I realized I'm going to have to move out, and then I realized, how do you do that? Um, we were not joking about building a building. I mean, we had, we're working with a viewer, thank you, Nathan, by the way, who was helping with architectural drawings. I literally had a call with a pre-engineered metal building company just last week um, on, on real stuff. Um, and when this all happened, I thought, God, can I, can I build this building now? Can I pour footers before... The winter and I realized no I mean there, there there's site work that has to be done design that has to be done getting on somebody's schedule for concrete that's the wrong decision and uh, I actually live on the other end of town um, than the farm and there are some industrial buildings nearby here and at first that was a really short-term solution I thought well maybe I'll just move in there until I build a building in the spring and then I realized I can't I can't try to force that all to make sense. I need to figure out just where I can go now and do what I love doing, which is which is making parts, building this business, making the videos. Um, it's what makes me happy. It's what makes me money. It's it's something I'm very proud of, and, and we got to grow this business. So um, I'm grateful. I I I hit the phones and found a space like literally three miles from where I live. I was had I had about a twenty some mile commute before, and you know what? It's going to save me a lot of time, and, and I'm not just trying to look at the upside. It's, that's real. Um, coincidentally, Jared, who works for me, also lives a lot closer, so there's some real upside. Um, it's a little over 1,000 square feet. I'll post a picture here. They, the, they have some stuff in there now that I don't want to um, violate their privacy with by sharing, so here's just a quick picture. But maybe a little smaller than I'd love. The reality is I'm in less than 1,000 square feet now when you look at where, the, where my stuff is. And you just gotta make it work. Um, it's not the forever solution by any means. The building actually has more space, so there's a lot more long-term potential. I'm not worried about that right now. What I'm worried about is getting out of the shop right now, getting that done safely with, with help and, and getting that equipment moved. Um, again, literally in, in five days. I'm actually gonna go film a little bit tomorrow to wrap up hopefully what is enough footage to get me through. Um, the, the next few weeks, but um, then the, I think um, Wednesday, tomorrow or Thursday morning is going to be, you know, lights out, power down, and the goal is Sunday night to be totally out. Um, good, good news is I just struck a deal on that space. Um, I haven't signed the lease yet, but we're, we're good, I think. Um, not, not to take that casually, because that's part of what is why I'm in the situation I'm in now, but um, we can start moving in right away. And, and get on with it. It's, um, it's got a better heating system. It's got a nice, uh, I think it's like a, some sort of a finished concrete floor. It's got a nice roll-up door, three-phase power, and higher ceilings. Um, again, not a good long-term solution. Should be totally fine for now. They were using it for food prep-related things. They've got this big exhaust fan, which I think I'm gonna stick the plasma under. 
Um, that's actually next on my list to do is to take that floor plan, floor plan and start trying to lay out the machines, which because I was planning on building a building, I already have. Um, and you know, in some respects, this is such a relief because it wasn't that I was struggling with the building. It was that I'm so nervous about doing it wrong. And this buys me some time to kick the can down the road on that. Um, they say they say to never write a letter when you're angry, and uh, you know Friday, Saturday, Sunday, those were some those were some low points for me. But um, again, up and up, I feel really relieved that I think I found a solution, and there's there's you got to make the best of it, and you got to realize that it's all gonna be okay. And uh, you know it's a good reminder to try to treat people well, treat people fair, both to avoid the downfalls in life, but also to, to try to, you know, it's been great to see some people that are already willing to help out uh, on making this all happen, again, on short notice. Um, we're gonna delay the Tormach maintenance video because I'm gonna do that after we move the machine. Um, let me know if you guys wanna see this. This is all happening so fast. Um, maybe I'll try to stick a GoPro up. Um, I'm hoping the move is easy compared to New York because I've got forklifts on both ends and we can put boxes on pallets and pallet jacks so we're not doing that stairs and manual lifting and all that stuff. You know, f fast decisions are never good, but on the flip side, again, being in this new building is gonna, I think, open up some exciting possibilities that we've been looking forward to. Um, yeah, again, you just gotta do what you do um, and, and be happy and, uh, you know, make smart decisions, and I'm, I'm sensitive because I never thought this would happen. I never thought I would put, this would have been a situation that resulted, and it did. And a little bit of it is just quirky because, again, I'm leaving in a few weeks, and I need to have it kind of all done by then. So you play with the cards you're dealt. Um, we're going to be good. Uh, I, I really appreciate, you know, sometimes, sometimes it's nice to just go read through some comments and see the excitement and the enthusiasm on how many people love what we're doing, and that means a lot. And so, so seriously, thank you guys. And guess what? Um, we're, we'll be back, man. We'll uh, we'll get some videos going in early October that are going to be rocking in the new building, and uh, a lot of good things to come, folks. So, with that, I always appreciate your your comment and your support, and uh, we'll see you soon, folks. Take care.